It's all about fishing. It's all about hunting. It's all about the great outdoors. And it's all about Outdoors with Captain Roy and Cheryl. Good morning. I'm Captain Roy, and I welcome you aboard. And I'm Cheryl Little, and we're at the Bear Creek Lodge this morning. Yes, sir. We surely are. <laughs> and I tell you what, Cheryl, today we got a lot. We're going to show us a lot of fishing. Yeah, yeah. lots of fishing. You've been busy fishing. You have been staying <laughs> on the water here lately. <laughs> that's, what, that's what our director said. That's right. Cheryl, I'll tell you something else I did last Saturday. Uh, you were not able to go, but I went out to the Music and Seafood Festival. I didn't know that there's that many people left in in the world, much less Bay <laughs> County. <laughs> but that there were there were a lot of people there, and uh, I enjoyed talking to the people. I sure did. And we had people come by our table, and we I told them about the Ray Spec rig, of course. But I had a jar there that I asked them if if, if they wanted to go fishing with me. They could fill out a little slip of paper, then put their telephone number on it, and somebody could go, could win a free fishy trip with me. I don't know how many is in there, but the jar is just about it full. Is full. But I wanted to go ahead this morning and draw it on television, okay. so you know, you wasn't there, wasn't able to okay. go. So I want you to get us Let's one out of the jar. Let's see who's going to get to go fishing with Captain Roy, and it is going to be John Giddon. Congratulations, John, and you get a free fishing trip for two people with Captain Roy. Nice. Give me a call. Yep, have a really good time. Hey, we got some pictures here to show, too. This is some fall fishing in Apalachicola and St. George Island, and this is from the Robinson Brothers. And look at that huge redfish Man. that Daniel Boyd caught on Captain Chris Robinson's John boat. Awesome fish. And then the next picture is John Ermit, and John caught a gator trout on the fly. I tell you, that's just that's a trophy. On the fly fish. On the fly fish, and mm -hmm. that's a trophy gator trout right there. And then the last picture is a black drum that was caught on Captain John Lane's boat. So, boy, they got some good fishing going down in St. George Island in Appalach. That's an awesome place to go fishing. And uh, I talked to the folks out at Brooks Bait and Tackle, Yeah. and uh, they've got... Look. Yeah, Bobby said that they have live shrimp and frozen shrimp, but he did say to make sure that you call ahead to make sure that they do have the live shrimp in stock, but they do have them. Also, they got a really good selection of DOA lures, too. So swing by there and get you some non-ethanol gas <laughs> and some bulk ice and some live shrimp. Hey, we've got two fishing trips we're going to, uh, we're going to show today, and it uh, goes back about two weeks, I guess, of fishing. We try to keep just as current as we can on them. And, yeah. We're just showing the highlights of our fishing trip. I think you're going to enjoy this, folks. It's something spectacular happened. It never happened to me before. So after the break, we're going to go fishing. Here at the Mux Auto Exchange, we do the hard work for our customers, and it starts with finding quality inventory. To avoid problems, we use the latest technology to check for damage and evaluate the car's history. We know exactly what we're buying. Then, our Napa Auto Care Center completes a hands-on inspection, making sure that all service records are up to date. We don't have salespeople, and we don't have finance managers, but what we do have are personal car buyers that help folks get cleaner, better-priced pre-owned autos. And we work directly with lenders to get the lowest interest rates possible. We save our customers thousands. Moats Auto Exchange, Highway 231 North of Ozark. Online at wiregrasscars.com.
Southeast Tree Experts, 25 years experience in residential and commercial tree removal and trimming. We specialize in topping, pruning, tree removal, trimming, stump grinding, lot cleanup, and much more. Southeast Tree Experts are contracted with the city, county, and state. Fully insured up to $2 million, so you can rest assured that you're working with professionals. Owner and operator Bobby Braswell is present on each and every job, and you'll always be treated with courtesy and respect. Call the experts, Southeast Tree Experts. Floating down Econfina Creek is easy, and it's fun for the whole family. Birds sing in a canopy of green, and six crystal clear pools lure swimmers into the bubbling spring water. Econfina Creek Canoe Livery makes it all possible with canoes, kayaks, paddles, and life vests. Just bring a picnic and go with the flow. At Journey's Inn, a shuttle waits for your return upstream. Econfina Creek Canoe Livery, one mile north of Highway 20 on Strickland Road, midway between Highway 77 and 231. How about a bear swim in the creek, boy? That's a pretty good size bear. Hey, where are you going, buddy? Huh? Where are you going? Don't get him on that. You better get out of here. <laughs> pretty good size bear. <laughs> Bye. It don't work. I left my phone in the truck. Doc, Doc Owen Reef. Now, so you gonna be my witness? Did you see that bear swimming? The I creek? saw that bear swimming. I, I saw it jump in over there. You know, I thought it might have been a deer to start with. Kenny Ray, back there on the back. I saw a bear. I thought it was a cow, but no, it wasn't. It was a bear. Son, we're not gonna fish right here. We just stop and see the bear. Kenny's gonna try to catch us a mud at that while. He slowed down. Over here in Sandy Creek, headed to the bay. All right, Kenny Bo's got got his Evco bent back. <laughs> He's hooked up, Doc. Doc, you gonna Doc gonna load him? That's nice, right there. Get him, Doc. Get him, Doc. Swing him around here. Let me take his picture. Not a bad fish, is it? No, he's not, cheap. Not for a boy to catch. You keep. Let's see what you got. What have you got hanging on that rig? That no, I got a that fish is, bite. A what? A fish bite. A fish bite. Yeah, Ronnie Croom says it's, it's, people caught a bunch of flounder down at Appalachia on those things. Well, now, if you, you keep catching them on it, you got, you got enough for me and Kenny? Don't. I ain't caught that many yet. <laughs> and the captain accidentally caught one. <laughs> uh, Doc, Doc, you got the, you, you, you still, let's still bite that piece of bait you got on there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. One more, I'm going to ask you to borrow a piece of that bait. If you catch, if you catch, catch two more before I catch one. Right up there. Bring him on up, Doc. Bring him on in here, Doc. Hold him up right there. Well, that ain't the biggest one, but he's a pretty nice speck anyway, but I don't believe he'll keep. Right, Doc, you putting it on me right now. All right. Me, I'm gonna catch my own deal, Doc. I'll be to get on the bow of the boat and just load it up. Actually, see what you got, bud. What you got there, bud? A little bit of less money. Got a mess of money. Light chauffeur, that's a little better than this. All right. Well, the captain's got another one there. Y'all better help me now, boys. Kenny got his got his F go bent back there. Yeah, not much to him, mother bus. Oh, I seen worse. Yeah. And better. <laughs> Look at the end of his rod. Broke off at the first joint. That's all he'll fish. He broke no more. <laughs> <laughs> got another one. I'm catching them right here on what I always call Dr. Reese Point. 
And there's Dr. Reese. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Doc, you need to get one on your own point. Sure do. Yeah, that's a better trout there. It's your time back here, Kenny Boo. <laughs> I got him there, Doc. I think <laughs> we good job. If we let him go. Kitty got one back there. We got doubles there. That's all right. Oh, yeah, Doc. Not much, huh? though. What's yeah, wrong with that trout, Doc? Well, boys, old son getting over there pretty low. I, we've caught a bunch of fish. Let's just head her to the dock. Get her loaded up for dark. Make the sand that start. Yeah, the sand yeah, that they, start. That's time to go home, ain't it, Doc? That's when the sand that start. That's time to go home. I see. That's header is. Doc, we've seen. Uh, we don't always have a caught some fish. Uh, I, I've seen everything on this creek. I've seen snakes. I've seen gators. That's the first bear I've ever seen. <laughs> so we've had an experience today. Boy, I said do them up. Now y'all caught another one. Kenny caught another one. That's a pretty good trap. Doc, I'll be that redfish truck right up in there. We ain't got time now. Yeah, Throw right. one more time. <laughs> and then we're going home. DOA Lures, the unfair advantage. Mark Nichols molded the world's first plastic shrimp at his kitchen table in 1989. Today, DOA Lures offers four sizes of shrimp in 54 colors, along with a complete line of lures for both inshore and offshore use, as well as freshwater. And what I like the most about DOA Lures, they are American made. DOA Lures available at your local tackle retailer or go online at doalures.com. We are so lucky to live in North Florida. We have some of the best fresh and saltwater fishing in the world. My biggest problem is not catching fish, but trying to decide what kind of fish I want to catch. No matter what I'm after, I always stop at Sunjammers Water Sports first. They have just what I need, rods and reels, line, tackle, and most important, fly bait. Yes, sir, we sure are lucky. Southern Outdoor Sports, just off the circle on Hartford Highway in Dothan. We carry a large selection of guns, ammo, and reloading supplies, from ground blinds, tree stands, camo clothing, and boots. For the fishermen, we have freshwater and saltwater tackle, rods, reels, and a large selection of lures. We are a dealer for Bimini Bay, Under Armour, Sims, and Orvis clothing. We are also an authorized dealer for Browning, Benelli, Big Green Egg, and Liberty Safe. Outdoor specialties since 1960. Now there's a fella, a young, handsome fella girl named Austin. <laughs> that big old smile now. Austin, what's your last name? Uh, Gullet. 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 All right, that's close enough, isn't it? I won't remember that five minutes. Now, Dennis Rich, back there on the back, you won this trip on, uh, we drew you on the TV out of the, uh, out of the bowl, didn't we? Out of our sweepstakes? Yes, sir. All right. Well, I'm thrilled to have y'all on the boat this morning. Well, not happy we are to be here. <laughs> we had a good day yesterday, but it's always a bit, a bit good yesterday every time you go fishing, right? Now, we'll find some fish, and we're going to have a big time. That's what it's all about. Let's get her started. Let's go down the creek. Beautiful, sandy creek. Okay. All right, Denny. <laughs> I was just about to move, Denny, when you caught that one. Hold it. Denny? That's the first one. Hold him up one more time. There you go. That's the pretty, <laughs> that's the pretty trout, Denny. This will be the first one we caught. On. Now, often he's fishing a Arkansas Glow DOA. Good trout, Austin. Now that's on one on both. That's you got an Arkansas glow on there, and swing you just swing your net right around here now, right this way. Oh yeah, he's not quite as good as Dennis's, but that that's just a, that's your first one, right? <laughs> it was. 
That's a good fish there, oh. Got to date where you get to it? Yep. Yeah, it's better than anything. He just lipped now. <laughs> there you go. Swing your net right around here now so often. He's right in the sun. I don't maybe I can get him in. There's the fish. Good trout. And there's Alton. <laughs> Yeah, where's the net? Where's the net, Danny? <laughs> oh boy, that's a pretty one. That is a pretty one there, Danny. Swing him right around here now. Let me get a good picture of the fish. Oh, there's a pretty trout. And that's the fella right back there that caught him. <laughs> good going, Danny. What you got, Eric? Oh, uh, hey, Danny. <laughs> Look like a trout. Look like a trout. You're going to lose him all. It's okay. He's not. Swing bad. him around here. That's not a bad trout. There you go. I, I'll put him back. You're not going to keep him anyway, will you? No. no. All right. Hey, fishing right alongside of the grass up here. And uh, seem like that's what they're doing. They're tied still in and it's hanging right along the edge of the grass there. They caught a number of throwbacks, and I hadn't filmed them. Don't, don't, uh, don't need to film anything too small. Give somebody a bad impression. That's all we're catching. But they've caught, already caught three, three nice trout here in just a few minutes. We're gonna catch some more. Oh yeah. We got all day, Dennis. That's a nice trout there. Reel yours up real quick. <laughs> Oh, yeah, get your net under that one because you can't That's pick him one up. He's too big. Hang him around here. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, man. That's a pretty trout. Pretty trout there, Denny. Yes, sir. All right. Now, the uh, Arkansas Glow, it, the Pat Trail had been fishing that, uh, that uh, Arkansas Glow hat for there for a little while, but I knew sooner or later. I, the I mean the paddle tail been fishing out fishing the uh, the Arkansas glue and Dennis fishing back there on the back. But I knew sooner or later that that Arkansas glue was gonna catch a fish. Right there around that from here to that point now there ought to be a red fish. What you got on there this time, Austin? Oh you got you got a good speck. Oh. Uh oh. Came off. Oops. Agony of defeat, Austin. <laughs> Let him grow up a little bit. I'll want... try to see him. I can always, I'll hold him up. I can always edit out the small fish. <laughs> good, you can't scratch them. Yeah, that's a good fish there. You get him in the net. I was swinging that, boy, that's right in the sun, but we'll swing him around here to the other side of the sun. There you go. <laughs> Now that's well, a, came out. <laughs> that's another that's another paddle tail oh, fish, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. I tell you what, the paddle tail is out. I believe out fishing Arkansas glue this morning. My, he ain't long enough to keep. Take your time. That was a keeper. That was a keeper, but he's off. <laughs> hey, hey, don't look so disappointed. <laughs> you gonna catch another one? They hate me today. Yeah. Him in the lip. Got off right at the boot. I keep hooking him in the lip. That's a red? Yep. Good deal. Big one. Man, that was a lucky right, That's a pull. It's just, just sliding in. Don't reel. Just sliding in here. That's a 20 inch trout. We'll take him home. We'll get him in in a minute. Just play him up. Don't worry. He's hooked good. Don't reel no more. Just slide. Get your net down and slide him right in. Just slide. Pick you right up easy. Just slide him right into that net. There he is. Look at that water trout. I'm going to tell you, that's a fine trout. That's what I want to see you hey, catch. guess what? <laughs> yep. <laughs> you see, if I'd, if I'd have hauled that fish, he'd come off, wouldn't he? Let's Hold him good there, Austin. That's, that's a fine trout, isn't it? I got to back up and get him all in the camera. <laughs> that's a fine one. Now, you did a good job, Austin. Trout. You have got a good one on there. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Swing him around here. Yeah, man. All right, I got, let's see, the last two now. Good trout was caught on, uh, one of them, that was caught on the uh, paddle tail. The other was Arkansas glue, so I guess it's fit running 50-50 now. That's a good I got him in there. Good shot of him there, Dennis. Good okay. trout. Hold your rod up. Let, let, just keep your line light. Are oh, you going to lose it? No, he got him in the boat. I caught him going by. All right. You catching on now, Austin. We're uh, trolling up here now. We've got one on trolling up in the intercoastal waterway. Oh, yeah, net that fish. And swing him around here. Let me take his picture of him. Tell him to smile. I caught him there. <laughs> Good fish. Good fish. You don't want him, just give him, catch him and tell him thank you. And, you can let him go back if you don't want him. On the paddle tail. All right. There's more out there just like it. Throw out there and catch another. He got big. Yeah, I kind of wonder where my net. Where is my net? Right here. You got that's, a good, that's a good trout. Right here, Austin. <laughs> Get him in that net. <laughs> you almost had him. There you go. And turn it around. You're gonna fix the picture for him. That's a pretty one. That's a good net job back there, Dennis. That was a good. That was a good. That was a good job you <laughs> you did on that one. And, uh, and I believe there's some more out there. All right. We did find another. I didn't know he wasn't supposed to bite. It <laughs> it kind of slowed down. So that's a nice trap. Tell you what I like about corn. I like the food, I like the price, I like the quality, I like the quantity of it. But what I like most about corn steak and egg is I like that friendly atmosphere that I always find when I dine out there. It's owned and operated by Linda and Willie Corn. They are the original and they're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they're breakfast out of this world. And my favorite is the world famous Corn Heavenly Hat. Corn Steak and Egg, 804 South Tyndall Parkway. For everything you need on or off the water, visit the Panama City and St. Andrews Marinas. Both locations provide you with easy access boat slips, ramps, fuel, bait, and tackle. Come visit our ship stores and see our unique nautical gifts and clothing. Or just relax with a cool drink and grab a snack while watching the boats come in. Don't forget that Mariner on your shopping list. Come by and see our unique nautical gifts, cards, and clothing at the ship store at Panama City or St. Andrews Marina. Panama City and St. Andrews Marinas. Everything you remember and so much more. The Register Meat Company was founded over 71 years ago by Pappy Register. Register's premier product is their country-style sausage. It is 100% pure pork and hog casings with their secret seasonings. It's packaged in mild hot and I mean hot. Their sugar cure bacon is smoked for hours. And Register's premium hams are pumped with their special ham pump. If you're in the Cottondale area, stop by their country store and ask about their Pick 5 program and their veggie bush. Look for Register's Meats at your local grocery. That was a big bear, Captain Roy. <laughs> I think I would have been just a little bit nervous. You got kind of close to him, too. We got about 20 feet of him, and uh, actually my camera, well, I had never even taken it out of the case, and we, we saw a big splash up there, and I didn't know, you know, just thought with what it was. It looked like somebody jumped overboard, but it, <laughs> then I discovered it was a bear. I, I tried to get as close to him as I could and get my camera out at the same time. And I'm not sure that Doc enjoyed that bear too much. <laughs> I don't think I would have Doc. <laughs> I, I was looking at Kenny, Kenny ready to throw a Zebco over there and try to catch him. But anyway, I, I never had that happen to me before. And 
the fishing trip with Dennis and Austin, I enjoyed that too. We we caught a lot of good fish and uh sure I want you to do something. Okay. Uh people fishing the DOA bait, if folks if you don't rig it right, it don't work right. Right. Uh if you show people how to put the jig tails on, okay, I'll show them how to uh, trick on this on the DOA shrimp. And your favorite jig tail what is what a one eighth or the jig head is one eighth? Is that typically about the size you use? Yeah, one eighth. And okay. I may start using a quarter now that the weather's getting colder. Just get down a little bit get, deeper. Get down a little bit deeper. Yeah. Um, basically, what I always remember to uh, to rig it up is I always uh, remember hook up tail down. Also, another trick to remember to rig it is that uh, the DOA is stamped on the belly of the lure. So if you uh, thread it through the front here and come out right about where the D is, um, that also is just about where it needs to be to be able to work it. Hook up and tail Hook up, tail down, and poke it through the D. And then on the paddle tail, now I have people say different things. I do rig mine this way um, with the with the tail coming straight out. Now. Captain Alan Duke, he, he rigs it his this way. Um, so I guess that's just a preference. <laughs> but um, I love the 411 paddle tail. It does have really good action going through the water. And then you got a really good trip on You have the shrimp, and I hope you can see this. It, it has a tendency when you catch a fish to slide up and down on your hook. Mm -hmm. And the way that I remedy this, if you can see this, I, I run a toothpick. I hope I can put it where you can see the toothpick. I just run it, run it right in front of that hook, like that. I usually just take my snip for some scissors and cut it off on on the, on both sides, and uh, that that keeps it in that keeps it in place in place just the way you want to catch a fish, and uh, that will catch fish. Yeah. Under a float, I know. <laughs> That's right. They got uh, DOA makes a really good popping court too. So do. if you rig it un underneath the popping court, that popping action will kind of get the uh, fish's attention and. Then the shrimp does the rest. That's what was the way Kenny Kenny Ray was fishing. He was fishing a shrimp with it, but I think he had his own. Kenny, you don't tell Kenny anything. <laughs> he had his own float. <laughs> and, uh, also, I wanted to mention real quick too. Um, I've started a new uh, club with Brad over at Sun Jammers. It's called the Sun Jammers Hobie Island Club. So if you're interested in sailing or think you might want to get into sailing, uh, Hobie makes an awesome sailboat. It's uh, like a motorcycle on water, super fast. Contact me at 625-3273, and I can give you more information, or you could go on Facebook and uh, Google Sun Jammers Hobie Island Club and find us and like us on Facebook. Folks, we'll be drawing for, uh, out, out of our TV sweepstakes, I'll get your entries in, and uh, because we'll, we'll probably be drawing next week for, for something. Yeah. We've got couch, fishing trip with me, and so forth. And... Uh, the way, the way to enter is uh, you can email us at outdoors at captainroy.com. If you don't have a computer, call us at 850-722-9382. And, okay. be, and be sure and uh, and check our webpage. You go you go to my webpage by dialing captainroy.com mm -hmm. and get all of our shows on YouTube. Yep. And uh, Find us a lot on of Facebook. other information on weather report and so forth. We're Our out director of time. over there is just yep. getting, why winding enough us that, up. Folks, thank y'all for watching the show. <laughs> remember to tune in next Saturday at the same time. And remember to always try to be as good to him as he is to you. Good day. <laughs>